People in China are holding unprecedented anti-government protests. Protests of this scale have not been seen since Tiananmen Square. Here's what's going on. Protests erupted on Friday, November 25th after a fire broke out at an apartment complex in Xinjiang's capital, Urumqi, a day before. The fire killed 10 people and wasn't extinguished until three hours later, and protesters say the strict lockdown had left residents locked inside and slowed the rescue. Xinjiang has been under a lockdown for more than 100 days as part of Chinese President Xi Jinping's zero COVID policy. Residents have said that they're being forced into quarantine and are facing hunger due to not being able to access food, medicine, and daily necessities. The news sparked public anger and frustration, and visuals turned into protests across the country, with demonstrators calling for an end to zero COVID. Protesters have been chanting slogans written on a banner by Bridge Man, a man who held a one-man protest against Xi on a bridge in Beijing in October and sparked a global movement. Some are even demanding Xi step down. They're holding up blank pieces of paper to mourn the victims and to signify all the things that everybody knows but cannot say. The sign for Middle Urumqi Road in Shanghai where protests were held has also become a protest symbol after a photo of Chinese officials taking away the sign went viral and became a meme. Social media videos have shown police arresting individuals, including a BBC reporter, at protests in different cities. In recent weeks, thousands of workers in Guangzhou and at Apple's largest iPhone factory in Zhengzhou also held major protests over lockdowns. Although the scale of the latest protests is unprecedented, there are fears that there may be further crackdowns based on how Chinese authorities responded to the protests in Hong Kong. Follow for more stories from around the world.